DJ. No! Give her to me, Ezra Passasasasasasas Trisosceles Triangle. It's 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 like Paco. It's like Taco, but you switch the T with a P. And it's Ezra Paco loves the taco. Ask all the ladies who they want to jock. Oh, that's me. Oh man, that's right. That's right. All the ladies don't have to jock me though. I don't care. Like I can say whatever I want about women because I already have one, and I don't need to like work for any others because I have that one right there, the beautiful mermaid hair woman over there. <laughs> Are there really people living up here? We're sitting over there, and everybody was like, "Holy shit, did a light come on up there?" Are there? Can you all hear us up there? Can you like? I just want to like. I just. I'm not gonna do it. I'm, I wasn't gonna do it. I told you. Whoa. I feel like this small right after that one. Holy shit! I wasn't really gonna do it, believe me. I was not. I was just gonna set the mood for him, you know. Hey, you're up. I'll hear you up. Come on, this is for you guys. If you're upstairs, this is for you guys. Little magic mic. Little. Like, I'm just a person. Does that put you in the mood, or does that like make your dick smaller up there? I'm all looking up like I'm talking to talking to God. Oh man, can you imagine? The people, I, I've been just out here watching Fools Walk By too, and they're all like, they're mortified. Like, people with kids and stuff walking by, I hope you see me, I, I acknowledge you, I don't care, I'll call you out. You know what, I don't care, I'll say it. you know what though, if you have a kid that young, and you're worried about people dropping, them, dropping comments about sex and all kinds of fun things, you got bigger problems stopping your kid from freezing their ass off out there. Like, so you're like, oh man, they're talking about like, you gotta protect Courtney's ears. Like, no, you gotta protect your kid from the cold. Like, you're gonna like if uh, they get old enough to talk shit about this later. Like, oh, mommy brought me by the naughty comedy club and I was hearing them say things that they say when I wake up in the middle of the night. But, uh, I had an awkward middle of the night. I want to tell you that you're never too old to chase your dreams. You're never too old. I'm 39, having a hard time with this mic cable, trying to chase a dream here and falling flat on my face, but it's okay because you can be this age and still be a dreamer. <laughs> Two nights ago, no, last night, and this really happened. That's I brought my wife to, yeah, I'm gonna tell it, yeah. <laughs> I, if you, it's so okay, for starters, if you are asleep and you have a dream that you are uh, pissing the bed, if you're gonna, if you're peeing in real life, or no, if you're peeing, I'm gonna fuck this up, if you're peeing when you're asleep, you're probably peeing in real life. That didn't happen. However, in my dream, I was busted. In real life, apparently, if you're still getting on the regular, you still can have a wet dream. And I woke up in the middle of the night and I was like, did I just, and I was so concerned and I was thinking like, holy shit, like, where did it go? What did it, and I'm thinking like, what was I rubbing, I had asked her, was I rubbing my dick on you in the middle of the night? Like, was I, what the hell was I doing the whole time? And I was thinking, but luckily the question was answered because when I got up to check what I probably was rubbing <laughs> my junk on to climax in my dream. Luckily, the pillowcase was stuck to my face, so I answered that question real easily. <laughs> so, the moral of the story there is you can still be a dreamer. Even if it's a wet dream, you can still be a dreamer. So, I'm going to leave on that note. Thank you, Liv and Ernie, for putting this on. Thank you, Pierre Press. You guys are beautiful. Thank you guys for all that you do. <laughs> Keep it going for Ezra Paco. Woo! All right.